Hey, welcome back. Today I made biscuits, but there's wheat in it. I adapted my recipe from Sugar Spun Run, so I'll leave that link in the description if you want to check it out, and I'll show you how I made seven biscuits with about 60 milligrams each. I'm starting off by weighing out 4.2 grams of weed. This is the equation that I'm using for dosing. Then I'm setting my oven to 240, and while that's preheating, I'm going to start breaking up my weed. Notice I'm not grinding it. I've found that the flavor of the weed comes through a lot more when you grind the weed, so I just break mine into smaller pieces. And we'll put that in our oven for about 35 minutes. And while that's decarbing, we're gonna start melting our butter. I'm using 3 fourths a cup of butter, so about a stick and a half, and half a cup of water. And I'm gonna melt this on a very low temperature the reason for that is that I want this to be at a stable 190 degrees or about 190 degrees before adding the weed in. When my weed is finished decarbing, I add it into the butter and give it a stir. I'm going to be cooking this for a total of about two and a half hours, but I am checking the temperature and stirring it about every 30 minutes just to make sure it's staying at that 185 to 195 or just below 200 for the entirety of the cooking process. When it's finished, we're just straining out the weed. Obviously, the finer mesh you have, the less weed particles will end up in your final product. You can see that the butter is already forming a layer on top of the water, but I put it in my fridge to just help it harden a little bit quicker. It took about two hours for my butter to be ready, but when it was, I took a knife and cut the top layer and then just dumped out the excess water underneath. I weighed it and got just about a stick, which is perfect for my recipe, and then put it back in the fridge while I got my dry ingredients together. I'm adding two cups of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt, and then just mixing to combine. Next, I'll add my butter into this by grating it in. You can also cut it in with a knife and just keep cutting the butter until you have really small pieces, but I find grating it is just a little bit easier. This is what your butter will look like at the end, and then I just use a spatula to incorporate it throughout the flour. Then we'll add 3 fourths a cup of buttermilk, and that is our last ingredient, so we'll just mix this together until it forms a pretty sticky dough. It won't be a cohesive dough ball, but it will look about like this when it's finished. Next I'll set my oven to 425, and while it's preheating, I'll work on cutting out my biscuits. To start, I'm just collecting the dough into a ball, or as much of a ball as I can get it into. Then I'm preparing a floured surface and rolling my dough out onto that. I'm going to be pressing this down with my hands and folding the dough in half about five or six times, and this is so that my biscuits will hopefully have layers. When I'm cutting it, I want it to be about an inch thick for each biscuit, and you want to just get as many as you can. I got about three the first time and then rolled it back out, folded it in half a couple of times, and got about two the second time, then one on my last one, and my final biscuit was kind of a lumpy one, but I cut the sides off and hoped that it would make it a little more circular. Here they are all ready to go. So you'll just pop those in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until the tops are golden brown. I'm brushing the tops with melted butter and after that they are ready to go. Like I said, they should be about 60 milligrams each, but with homemade edibles it is hard to tell. So just eat half if you need to. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments, and I would love to see pictures if you try making these at home. You can find me on Instagram, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching.